Hello friends, welcome to the channel. This is the Bluetooth speaker I made a couple of videos back. While it does sound good and looks really cool, it is a bit much considering all the parts that makes up the whole thing. So this time I thought I would make something that's just as good but much simpler. Something anyone can feel comfortable making. The first question I asked myself was, what always looks good right out the print bed? No post processing, no painting, no nothing. My answer, vases. Vases are one of the best looking things to 3D print, so why not put a speaker inside a vase? Well, that's what I'll be doing in this video. My approach to this is to first design a speaker enclosure and a vase like structure. I'll then combine them to make the speaker. Here I have all the parts printed out. The speaker body itself prints upside down so there was a little support where the speaker is supposed to go in through. Another thing I need to mention is this long spiral inside the enclosure. That's the speaker port. I did design the speaker as a potted box. I used a software called WinISD to tune and calculate the port length. So fingers crossed for the sound test later on. This part is the reflector. It goes on top of the speaker. This will help direct the sound out the side instead of upwards. This part covers the base. It has a few cutouts for a switch, magnets and nickel strips. I created cutouts for magnets and nickel strips because I needed a way to be able to charge the speaker that won't require me to have red holes on the speaker body itself. So I'll be going with a magnetic charging solution. This is the other part I will clip onto the base with magnets whenever I need to charge the speaker. For the electronics, I'm keeping it really simple. I'll be using this all-in-one Bluetooth amplifier module together with this 10 watt speaker. For the rechargeable function, I'll be using a single lithium battery with this charge protection module. Here's how the circuit works. The lithium battery connects to the charge protection module, which powers the Bluetooth amplifier, which in turn powers the speaker. I'll also throw in a switch in between the protection module and the Bluetooth module. The first thing to do is to install the speaker, but I need to first solder some wires to its terminals. Bluetooth board has two connectors on it, one for the speaker and one for the power. This is more convenient than having to solder wires to the board. Luckily, I have the male end of those connectors on hand. Next up is soldering the lithium battery, the charge protection module and the switch together. All the connections are according to the circuit I described earlier. The whole thing should look like this once it's done. After that, I went on to setting up the magnetic charging base. The general idea here is to make the base of the speaker into a magnetic connector. But instead of pogo pins, I'm using nickel strips as the contact pins. All the slots are pre-made, so all I need to do is to cut short lengths of the nickel strip and insert them into the slots. I also soldered two wires to the back of the strips. The wires will later connect to the input pins on the charge protection module. I repeated the process for the second magnetic connector, but this time I allowed the nickel strip to protrude a little above the surface. 
the wires from this end also needs to be soldered to a DC jack. For this, I decided to use the micro USB equivalent of the DC jack instead. This just makes more sense for a 5 volt application. The last thing to do is to glue on some neodymium magnets on both sides. The magnets I'm using are 10mm in diameter and 1mm thick. I'll have a link to it in the video description along with all the other parts used for this speaker. I glued on the magnets with different poles on both sides. So I have one north pole and one south pole facing up on each side. This way the connectors will repel each other when they are in the wrong orientation and attract when they are lined up properly. The only connection left is the one from the speaker base to the charge protection module. The electronic part of the speaker is now complete and I can proceed to stuffing all of this into the speaker body. The speaker is now complete and as you can see the magnetic charging is really convenient and it just seems more suited to this design. But if you prefer a simpler solution, you can just drill a little hole on the side of the speaker to fit a DC jack. Alright, time to test the speaker. So there you have it guys, I really like how the speaker turned out. It looks really cool as a 3D printed object and sounds really good as a speaker too. I hope you guys feel encouraged to make one for yourself. You don't have to use the exact components I used. If you have a little experience with DIY speakers, then feel free to choose your own preferred component. Just keep in mind that the model is designed for 2 inch speakers. A link to the STL files will be in the video description. Thanks for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and maybe consider subscribing to the channel to see coming videos.